Good morning, everyone. My name is John Coffey. I am a community minister, a member of Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church. And I wanted to talk to you this morning about why I support the adoption of the eighth principle. So for those who don't know, uh, the eighth principle is a proposed addition to our seven principles of Unitarian Universalism. And this eighth principle reads as follows. We, the member congregations of Unitarian Universalist Association, covenant to affirm and promote journeying towards spiritual wholeness by working to build the diverse, multicultural, beloved community by our actions that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. I'll be sure to post a link in the YouTube comments and in the Facebook comments during the service when this airs, um, where you can read more about the history and about the reasons uh, behind the eighth principle. But I wanted to share uh, maybe a tangible example of, of why this is important to me and why it's important that I think we adopt it not only as an association, but as a congregation. All during my time as a Unitarian Universalist, from the time that I joined a congregation to the time that I became a seminarian, to my time as a minister, to my time working in this congregation, I've heard that anti-racism and anti-oppression work is messy. And with the word messy, it conjures images for me of finger paint. This idea that, that multicultural work is going to be messy and we're going to get, you know, paint everywhere and, you know, we're going to have the creative work is going to be a messy, a messy endeavor. But I think what gets lost in that is that when we're talking about dismantling racism, we're talking about uh, addressing white supremacy in our institutions, messy doesn't mean all fun and games. Because we're not dealing with paints and canvas and paper, we're dealing with lives and livelihoods. We're dealing with relationships. We're dealing with people. And the idea is that anti-racism and anti-oppression work is messy not because it's always fun and not because we, we get our hands dirty or we, we, we get into the weeds of things, but it's messy because we will say things, we will do things that make it unpleasant. I know in my time in congregational and, and religious work, I have done and said things that I look back now and I cringe. I have said things that have hurt people of color. I have, I have done things that have hurt people of color. And it doesn't feel like finger painting. It feels like a pain in the heart. The benefit of a eighth principle, of writing into our guiding documents, our guiding means of organizing ourselves, is that it gives us something to come back to. Those times when we fail, those times when we fall short of living into that beloved community, those times when I fall short as a white person, not aware of my own privilege, not aware of the ways that my actions might be hurting people. I work for Meadville Lombard Theological School, and one of the things we say is that we don't have a perfect history, but we have a perfecting history. And for that reason, I think that part of that messy work, part of that perfecting history of Unitarian Universalism is the adoption of the Eighth Principle. And I hope you will join me in voting to accept the adoption of the eighth principle in our congregation. Thank you.